with my model for the day. I'm gonna call her Susie. What's up Susie? Thanks for helping your girl out today. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of walking through a pretend facial with you guys so you can kind of hear a little bit more of a dialogue that I have with a client during the service. Hey guys, it's your girl Kristen here. If you're a subscriber of mine, you already know what the deal is, what I do on my channel. But if you're new here, I do everything from beauty to lifestyle to now entrepreneurship, especially if you're also an esthetician or freelance makeup artist or somebody who's in beauty school or just getting started in the industry. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've been doing a ton of videos just giving you all the secrets and gems that you need to know, especially if you're working in our industry. If you haven't checked out my last series, I did a series called Before You Open a Salon Suite and all about what you need to know about being self-employed. I give you a lot of tips and tricks in that series. I give you a little bit about my background. I talked about what products I'm using and my treatments, how I came up with pricing, and you know, fun stuff like self-employment taxes. So make sure you watch all of that and I'm finally glad to be moving on from that series and talking about real life current things that you can implement to your business right now and wherever you're at in your career. This video is going to be all about upselling in retail, which I think is a huge, huge part of your career as an esthetician. You can make an extra $500 to $1,000 plus a month. It's really in your hands. The sky's the limit because that's the beautiful thing about selling product is that the more you sell, the more you make. I know not all of us are naturally born salespeople. Most of us, I think, don't want to feel like we're salespeople. I'm going to give you some really great tips and tricks on how to sell skincare to your clients to make it as easy and natural as possible so that you know even if you are somebody who's newer in the industry or you're just starting your first job you can implement these tips and already be off on a great start when it comes to retail and upselling and not to mention duh you're gonna make more money so why not so if you want to see how to convince someone to buy your product then you definitely want to make sure you continue watching yes I'm really glad that you decided to continue to watch this video because this is gonna be a game changer. But before we dive into that, I wanna give a quick shout out to Mocha Mula who commented on my esthetician room tour video. What's up girl, how are you? I'm gonna start doing these shout outs. If you guys want me to shout you out on my channel or you just wanna give me some love, make sure you comment down below. You know, maybe you'll be shouted out in one of my videos. I'm gonna have my phone here as usual to talk to you guys about my tips and tricks when it comes to selling skincare to your clients. Let's start with you know me, I'm always all about your mindset. So first thing comes first is changing your mindset when it comes to sales. I know a lot of us feel a little bit intimidated by it, like, oh, you know, I don't wanna come across salesy or pushy. Well, that all starts with your approach to it. You change your mindset, and I know for me personally too, sometimes when it comes to you know, the end of the service and I have to pull out the products and do my little spiel. I get a little bit apprehensive with, at least with certain clients, you know, the ones that kind of seem a little bit more like they have a lot of products already or they're a little bit standoffish or, you know, just, you know what I mean? You can read the vibe off people sometimes, but I want to encourage you to no matter what vibe that client is giving you, to present them with something. That is gonna be huge. Um, and put it into your mind that you're gonna sell them something, that they're gonna buy something. If they don't, okay, you know, let it go. Let it, you know, move on to the next person. That's definitely something you don't wanna do is spend a ton of time on somebody who's just not hearing you. So that's number one. Make sure you, you change your mindset when it comes to sales because it all starts up here. And if you give off that energy that you're not really enjoying this or you're like, eh, that energy rubs off on people. So just be relaxed. You know, that's why I made this video so that you can feel like you can be yourself. And that's my next tip is to just be genuine and truthfully look at the person as somebody you're trying to help. And the way that conversation really starts is to just get to know them and to really figure out why they're coming to you, why they're getting a facial, what their concerns are instead of like, oh, here's a product. Yeah, it has this ingredient, this ingredient, that. and like, don't get me wrong, knowing about ingredients is important, but make it a dialogue versus a sales pitch. That's definitely the first thing you want to do is to just set the right tone for the conversation. And so the way that you're going to do that is you're going to build up from the moment that they book an appointment with you to when they leave, 
that is your entire, so to speak, sales pitch. For me, where I start this conversation is I actually, in my booking system on Acuity Scheduling, you can create what's called an intake form. And on this intake form, I made it very, very detailed. Some might think it's a little bit frustrating to fill out because it is, you know, you do have to take some time to think about it. And, you know, I don't make it required to fill out, you know, because obviously I'm still going to ask these questions when they come in. But I do ask a couple of questions when they book. I ask, what are your goals for the service? What areas of your skin are you hoping to focus on? And why are you getting a facial? Have you ever had a professional facial before? This gives me a good idea of who's coming to my table. Is it somebody who's a little bit more experienced when it comes to skincare? Is it somebody who's a little bit newer and doesn't have much of a skincare routine going on? So I make sure I read those questionnaires before they even come in so that I just know who I'm speaking to. And then of course, once they come in, from the moment that they walk into my room, it, it automatically starts. The, the process of being able to figure out how to get them to, um, not necessarily, you know, and obviously we're here to make more money, but how, what, I'm already thinking, you know, what can I upsell them with and what products am I gonna recommend for them at the end of this? If you guys wanna know more about what retail products I have in here, then make sure you comment down below so that I can make a separate video about that because I think it's really important to make sure that your retail has a lot of variety to it. And of course, as you start to work, you're gonna see what a majority of your clients are purchasing and what tends to be items that they gravitate towards. Of course, if you're already working for a spa or a medical spa, they're gonna have a whole array of retail at your fingertips, which is awesome. It's a great place to start. So, and each you know spa is gonna have their own protocol on what to do when it comes to selling. They're gonna have goals. I know for my spa, they require me to sell at least $1,000 worth of product. They have me talk about the products to the client and then they're left at the front at the front desk and so then the front desk person is having to close the sales. If that's you then you can still implement these tips into that situation and all you'd have to do is have these conversations while you're doing your treatment and then before you bring them back to like the spa or the the waiting room. Um, you can definitely you know also talk to whoever it is you work for and say hey you know what I, I learned these little tips and tricks and I would love if I could implement these here. I think it'd be super helpful. Don't feel like you're confined to whatever your spa and your employer is telling you to do. You know, be be you know be that esthetician that's going to want to grow and get better. And I'm sure your employer and your manager would really appreciate that because guess what? If you sell more retail, they're going to make more money too. So you know, implement these even if you're somebody who isn't working for themselves. But definitely, if you're working for yourself you have 100% full control of what you're doing and so this video is gonna be perfect for you. So to kind of switch it up, I'm actually going to kind of try to like role play this and talk you through a facial because sitting here and thinking about it is getting me a little bit like, okay, this is, I'm not in my element. So I wanna kind of set up the camera and prop you up so that you can see and hear the type of language that I use when it comes to creating that conversation and that dialogue around skincare and how to get the client to actually purchase something. Okay guys, so I am set up here with my model for the day. I'm gonna call her Susie. What's up Susie? Thanks for helping your girl out today. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of walking through a pretend facial with you guys so you can kind of hear a little bit more of the dialogue that I have with a client during the service. I don't focus on the end of the service being the only time that I talk about product because I feel like then it starts to turn into a sales pitch. When you wait for that last moment where they're about to leave and then you're gonna be wasting all this time talking about stuff. Use the entire service to start to drop little you know, nuggets here and there. First thing comes first is when they're on your table, the first thing you're gonna be doing with them is a skin analysis, which I feel like the skin analysis is a huge, huge part of setting the tone of the entire facial, 
of really talking with them, getting to know what their concerns are, and then you know being able to upsell them. A couple of pointers I wanted to give you guys when it comes to the skin analysis, when you're having those first conversations with your client, stray away from questions that are gonna have a yes or no answer to them. So for example, don't ask, do you like your skin? And then they're gonna say, yeah or nah. Or, you know, have you ever had a facial before? And they're gonna say yes or no. So avoid questions like that because you wanna keep the conversation going. So instead of saying it like that, you would say, so what do you like about your skin? Or what do you dislike about your skin? And then they'll give you, you know, a few reasons. And then, you know, you could say, you know, when's the last time you had a facial? Or why are you here today for a facial? Then, you know, you see what I'm saying? It's gonna create more of a conversation and then you can get an idea of why they're there. And like I mentioned earlier, it's all about, you know, figuring out how you can help them, how you can solve their problems and just get to know them. Another thing I wanna encourage you to do during a skin analysis and then throughout the service too is to listen. You know, put your listening ears on like our kindergarten teacher used to tell us and just listen, you know, it's really easy to just go on and on and on about ingredients and what you think they should do and this and that but I think a lot about being able to sell somebody something is just actively listening to what their concerns are so that you can get a better idea of how you can provide them a solution. Without further ado, I'm gonna do a little bit of role play as if I'm doing a skin analysis on Susie here. And I'll probably put in a little like voiceover so that there's some conversation back and forth between me and Susie. <laughs> this should be fun. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I'm not gonna turn on this light here. So just pretend, you know, I'm turning it on just for the sake of the video. I got it all in focus focus and everything. Uh, let's uh, let's do this role play. Hey you, Susie here. Make sure you hit that like button if you're finding this video very helpful and informative. Subscribe to my girl Kristen's channel and yeah, make sure you continue watching. Thanks Susie. Hi Susie. Okay, so you're nice and comfortable now. If you need anything throughout the service, just let me know and I can always make adjustments. And of course, if you have any questions at all, um, feel free to ask, be vocal with me. Right now to get started, we're gonna be doing a little skin analysis. I'm gonna be using a bright light here and I'm gonna place these goggles over your eyes so that it doesn't blind you. Um, but this is just gonna allow me to look a little bit closer at your skin. So I know you, when you booked the service, you answered a questionnaire and I, I took a look at that before you came in and I wanted to address some of that real quick. So what brings you in for a facial today? I'm feeling like my skin is dehydrated and I really hate my wrinkles. Okay. And when's the last time you had a facial? Oh my gosh, like a year ago. Oh wow, okay, so it's been a little while, so your skin probably needs a little bit of love. Uh -huh. Right off the bat, I'm seeing that you're a combination skin type, and I'm feeling your skin, it's a little slightly dehydrated. So from what I'm hearing you say, you said that you're concerned with um, fine lines and wrinkles and you're feeling like your skin's a little bit dehydrated which yes I can agree with. I'll make sure throughout the service that I'm going to be implementing products to address these concerns and then you know this service is a just regular classic facial and what I like about the classic facials is that we can customize it a little bit more to what your concerns are with enhancements. So the enhancements that I recommend for you, the first one would be a professional peel and the reason why I'm recommending a professional peel is because it's going to give you a little bit of a deeper exfoliation and so as we age and I know you mentioned you're worried about your fine lines and wrinkles um, in order to target that more we need to be helping your skin renew on a constant basis so you're gonna have to be coming in regularly for facials and we'll talk about what you're doing at home to address the fine lines and wrinkles that's gonna be an additional 25 to the service is that something you're okay with adding in today yeah that's fine with me okay awesome we're gonna get started now and again, you know, I'm going to kind of walk you through the service as we go and we can kind of chit chat a little bit more about your home care. There you go, guys. So that's just a really quick example of what language and what conversation I'm having with them during the skin analysis. I'm using their language back at them. So when she told me, when Susie told me that she was concerned with fine lines and wrinkles and dehydration, I said that right back to her. You know, again, active listening, and then you repeat it back to the guests and say, you know, this is why I think we should add this in so that we can address those concerns. It's a little bit easier just to do one enhancement, but I highly encourage you to offer two 
because then it just gives them that extra, you know, you might get that guest who's just like, yeah, do whatever the heck you want, and then you're like, ooh, okay. And what's the worst that could happen? They could just say, no, you know, I just want the regular facial, and then, you know, do, and then, you know, if she were to have said that I just want the regular facial, I'd be like, okay, cool, you know, I'm gonna do whatever I can in the service with the products that I use in the classic to still address some of the concerns that you have. And then you really want to continue and have that conversation with them about what they're doing at home so that they can start to see more results. And obviously if they come back to you, which we can talk more about how to get um, return clients and stuff, comment down below if that's something you want to hear about. Sometimes when they come in and they're like, ah, you know, I just want to do the basic, then, you know, there's always next time. So, you know, don't be too pushy, but you know, help, help them along, help the guests along. Let's move on and kind of, I'm gonna show you what other language I'm using during the service to talk to them about um, their skincare at home. Again, just to kind of set the tone of which products I'm gonna be recommending for her at the end of this. Okay, real quick before I get started with this part of the role play is I'm just gonna kind of be pretending that we're cleansing her, that we're doing the service. And throughout the service, I'm gonna start to kind of just talk about the products that I'm using on her. Some of the products that you use in your back bar might not necessarily be retail, but I do highly recommend getting a lot of the back, uh, a lot of the retail version of your back bar products so that as you're doing the service and using products on them to address their concerns, then it would just make so much more sense to use those products at home. So I'm gonna be pretending to use some certain products on her that are gonna address some of the concerns that she told me about. And then, you know, uh, you'll hear more about like the dialogue that I have about what she's doing at home. And I kind of spread it throughout the service so that it doesn't seem like such a long conversation. I'm gonna continue to kind of role play and let you guys hear some of the conversations that I might have with a client during a service. Okay, so now we're going to be cleansing your skin and starting the facial. So I'm gonna be applying some steam here. get your skin nice and cleansed all right so right now I'm using a glycolic cleanser on you which is going to again help with that cell renewal and glycolic acid is really good for helping these products that we're gonna be using on you penetrate even deeper into the skin Glycolic is also a really great anti-aging product so what kind of cleanser are you using at home right now oh I'm just using the Cetaphil cleanser that you can get from Target it would be a really good idea to use something like this that's going to be more specific to what your concerns are because it all starts with what we clean our skin with. So now I'm going to be applying an exfoliating mask. This is called the Ageless Resurfacing Mask. It has microcrystals in it. It has, glyco again, glycolic acid in it, some lactic acid, which is going to be very brightening. I'm going to remove the exfoliator. Now we're going to do some extractions. So again, I'm gonna come back with the bright light here. So we talked a little bit about, you know, kind of some products you're using at home. Walk me through, you know, your, your routine. So in the morning and night, I'll cleanse my skin and apply toner and then a moisturizer. But that's about it, because I'm pretty simple. Okay, so are you using any specific serums right now to target any of your concerns? I don't right now. What are they for? So a serum is gonna be great because it's going to penetrate uh, deeper into the skin. Serums are known for targeting uh, more specific concerns. For what you're concerned with, I definitely recommend using a vitamin C product in the morning, retinol at night. Are you wearing an SPF daily? No, I'm not right now. Okay, so we definitely want to get you using an SPF daily. It's really going to help you know you prevent any further aging. So now we're going to do a mask. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. So we are getting toward the end of the facial here. And I know, you know, it sounds like this is like such an ideal client to have. I'll talk to you guys at the end about how to talk to somebody who's a little bit more, you know, who has a lot of products already or a little bit more difficult. So make sure you watch to the very end so that you guys can hear those tips. I like talking during the extraction so that it kind of distracts them kind of from like the discomfort and it just gives us something to talk about. So while the mask sits, I'm actually over at my desk and I'm writing down um, what I recommend for her and any aftercare instructions. 
and then also when I'm writing down the recommendations for them and these aren't the actual products I'm gonna be selling her but <laughs> because I'm running out of, of products I'm waiting for some to get shipped in I'm gonna be putting these on the desk so that they're displayed for her when she's done with the facial see I'll, I'll flip the camera around to to my desk here so you kind of see how I set it up you definitely want to take the physical products and lay them out for the guests so that they can physically hold it and look at it and you know read it if they want to and just you know people are very hands-on so I think that's really important so that's what I do during the mask and also this is gonna save you time you don't want to do all of this at the end of the facial because you know assuming you have another guest coming in you want to you know have the products ready to go but so now I'm gonna be doing some finishing products on her after the mask and this is definitely another time where you can again just reiterate the products that she should be using at home so let's talk to Susie all right, Susie, so we're wrapping up the facial. Now I'm gonna be putting some finishing products on you. And I'm gonna be using products that I think are most beneficial for your skin. And here is a vitamin C serum, which also has hyaluronic acid in it. And you know, we talked about how vitamin C is a great antioxidant for the skin. And then the hyaluronic acid is really gonna to help to target um, that dehydration in the skin. And then here is, you know, some eye cream, a little bit of lip treatment, and then you know, here's that SPF I was mentioning earlier. It's oil free, it has a nice matte finish to it. Doesn't it smell good? It's really lightweight on the skin too. That's what I really love about it. Yeah, I, I personally use this and it's definitely a holy grail in my skincare products. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed there that I mentioned that I personally use these products. Um, I truly believe that if you're gonna sell somebody something, you need to believe in it yourself you know and of course this might be a little bit different if you're working for a spa or somewhere else that maybe doesn't necessarily have the products that you're crazy about but I feel like in any skincare line you're gonna have one or two couple of favorites and if those are your favorites talk the heck out of those to your guests so when you give the guests a little bit more of a personalized story to the product and they're like oh, okay she uses it and yes you know your guest does look at your skin when you're you know working with them I think it's really important to make sure that you're on top of your skincare too and making sure your skin looks good when you're talking when you're working on your guests now we're gonna be wrapping up the service with her and then I'll kind of turn the camera over to show you guys you know how I close out the service and how I get them to hopefully buy the product all right, so excuse the lighting. I wanted to show you, you know, exactly how I set up for when the guest is done and they're dressed and they're, you know, getting ready to leave. I display the products for them out on the table. Let's pretend this is like my written recommendations for them to take with them. Let's pretend you guys are Susie right here. Okay, Susie, so how are you feeling? How's your skin feel? It feels amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to hear that. Wrote down some recommendations for you. So in the next four to six weeks, I definitely recommend coming in for the anti-aging facial. That facial is an 80 minute service and it's gonna include the peel, the LED therapy, and also the facial globes with it. Definitely recommend doing that one in your next visit. And here are just some products that I'm recommending for you. I talked about what you're cleansing your skin with. In order to target, you know, the fine lines and wrinkles more and the dehydration in your skin, you definitely wanna be using a cleanser that's not gonna overly dry the skin and um, that has ingredients in it that are gonna target fine lines and wrinkles. So again, you know, glycolic acid, we said that a lot throughout the service. So this cleanser has uh, all those ingredients in it for you. So we, you know, I wrote down when to use it specifically. This is a vitamin C hydrating serum. So it has hyaluronic acid in it, vitamin C. We already chatted about what those do. And last but not least, um, definitely want to have that SPF. It's gonna help further prevent any more fine lines and wrinkles. It's gonna just protect your skin from any UV damage. Skin cancer is really common. So which one of these do you see yourself incorporating into your routine? I'll take the vitamin C and the SPF. Okay, great. Okay, so again, I wrote down when to use them. Of course, if you have any other specific questions that come to mind uh, later on, you can email me or, or, or message me on Instagram. Well, you know, I'm so glad you came in today and I really hope that you enjoyed the service and, and I'm really I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. There it is guys, that is kind of an example of how I would close out a sale. 
as far as what to say at the end you could say like what i said you know which one of these do you see yourself incorporating into your routine or i say you know which one of these is grabbing your attention the reason why i picked three products is because it just gives your guest options but not too many options i feel like two or one or a little bit underwhelming and three is just that perfect number. I have a video that I just recently watched that kind of affirmed that, so I'll make sure I link that down below. And there is a, a method to what products I chose. I chose a cleanser, which is gonna be a little bit more of a cheaper product um, for them to choose from, and then kind of like a middle ground product, which is the SPF. And then the serum is always gonna be the most expensive product most of the time giving them options as far as like you know they could either go like the least expensive route or they could go with average or they can go with the most expensive so there is a method to which products you should use or you know you could just pick whatever three products you feel like are fitting for them but i always feel like picking three is just that sweet spot try not to make your spiel at the end too long because then you know their attention is going to go somewhere else don't make it a super long pitch just Make it simple and let them answer you the way that they want to. If they're gonna be somebody who is hesitant or they already have a lot of skincare, then let them say yes or no. Still present everything I did in this facial the same exact way to somebody who's you know, already got a lot of skincare, thinks they kind of know a lot about it already. If you get somebody who's a little bit more difficult and they're just not an easy egg to crack, then just let them be, you know, that that's going to be somebody you want to kind of maybe work on in the future and that you can keep planting those seeds. Every single time, it doesn't matter if somebody's already been on your table and they brought product last time, have them, you know, present three new products for them next time. So giving the three instead of like five or six for their whole routine, it's just going to be overwhelming. And then the next time they come in, you're not gonna really have something to present them that's new. Let me set you guys back up this way so that you know I can close out this video and you know send you guys off. All right guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you found that extremely detailed and helpful. I did my best when it came to the your whole role playing thing. <laughs> Shout out to Susie for uh, helping us out. Oh my goodness, they literally just started vacuuming right now. Wow. Okay, so let me just close this out really quick. If you have any other additional questions, comment down below, let me know, and like this video if you found it helpful. Hit that subscribe button because you know your girl will be punching out these videos every Thursday and Sunday. Let me know if this helps you be more successful with your retail and upselling. I, I really want to hear about that. Stupid vacuum is going, so let's just close this video out. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.